Hello everyone, this is Sapphire and we're here with Five Nights at Freddy's, the movie. So I pretty much watched all of the Five Nights at Freddy's lore. I have not really played the games. Um, I think there is actually one more lore video I have to watch. I think it came out with the recent, um, it, um, it's for the recent Five Nights at Freddy's game I think they came out with, with like a VR game. So um, this is pretty, um, Five Nights at Freddy's, this came out last year uh, around October. Um, I heard uh, it did pretty good. Like, like the fans of the Five Nights at Freddy's um, um, franchise, they absolutely loved it. So um, I'm going to be watching it for the first time myself. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome. Um, let's jump into the Five Nights at Freddy's. He making too much noise for me, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I understand you scared, but... I feel like if you panic, that makes it worse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can they go into the vents? I don't think they can go in the vents. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to. I'm thinking of aliens. The alien game, the alien isolation game. No, he did. He ain't going to make it. Oh, I liked it. Here. Is that who I think it is? Uh, what's what's the character name? Dang, is it um something trap? Spring trap? That's what it looked like. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Because in the game, they they try to they they the the premise of them they're putting you into a suit because they think you you're the exoskeleton. Oh, they're putting you into a suit. Oh, the Newton band did the music for this? Okay. I just realized what they're doing with the animation. They're showing Freddy go approach a kid and then he's taking him away. I like that little detail. And his face is getting more about it every time we see him it's changing like like he was all happy first and now it's like an like evil face yeah like er okay five night at freddy's Abs. <laughs> and like you see oh i can't un the parents call you oh let's go <laughs> kids kill me when they do that because we all know we did that when our parents like you sleep you know i have some to be come on let's go Five minutes, I need to dress. We all did that as kids. You, oh, yeah, all of a sudden we sleep down. We know we ain't sleep. <laughs> so what are you going to bring your sister back? We got this new flavor. Rainbow Explosion. I bet she'll go crazy for it. Mike? He's, he's, oh, yeah, he's security. Mike! I really hope. I hope. Oh, okay, it's certain, certain. Ooh, ooh, Mike, calm down, Mike, 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 bro, Mike. In case you beat up a man in broad daylight, you find him as. What he looked like? What he thought he was? You know, taking a kid. Um, his misunderstanding. I am just trying to figure out who you are, Mr. Michael. Well, in his defense, the kid did look like he didn't want to go with the dude. I mean, that did, 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 did look suspicious. You know what I'm saying? That did, did, did look suspicious, just saying. Mm. Maybe he should have asked questions Coffee? before beating the crap out of him, but uh, that did look suspicious. Like, like, you know, like, I would assume, I would assume that too, like you trying to kidnap this kid. Because you forcing the kid, kid's like, no, you know. Now, since his name is Mike, I'm assuming it's, you know, Mike, as in what I've learned in the lore, is supposed to be 
kid, the the son of the dude that created um you know Freddy Fazbender, but not Fazbender, Fazbear. Notice, notice the delinquency. Dang. He gonna be desperate to say that job, yeah, huh? I mean, you got no other options. Your record is not good, and then now you gotta notice the like, delinquency now. Yep. Oh, don't watch your brother, okay? Okay. Did something happen? Yeah, something happened. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Brother got taken. Damn. That's why that's now it makes sense why he automatically assumed that child was being taken in the um, mall. If something like that happened to you, you probably would be like Paranoid too, yeah. It's not even ten o'clock, and he can barely keep his eyes open. This degenerate is who they entrust with the well-being of a mentally ill child. Jane, like I've said before, Abby is not mentally ill. Oh, right. Perfectly normal to sit around drawing pictures all day and, and talking to magical creatures who do not exist. Ma'am, no, kids have imagination. No, all kids have imagination. You're the doctor. You're making me feel like I'm the crazy one. Ma'am, you're being very rude and After what he did to that poor man. Just... <laughs> Ma'am, you don't even have a tear in your eyes. Please stop. Even... Yeah, because she literally called the child mentally ill, talking about she's mentally ill. Who sits what child talks to imaginary friends? A lot of children talk to imaginary friends, ma'am. It's called an imagination. Clearly you did not have one as a child. Drop dead tomorrow and keep you too busy drawing to even notice. Oh, you gotta go work at Freddy Faz Fazbear. I keep on saying Faz Bender, I do not know why. When is when that's the name of like if an actor? He's kind of a sentimental guy, I guess. I'm the red go. Yeah. Okay, you're very creepy talking about this place like this, sir. Security system. Because <laughs> like in the game, you only have like you only have like a hundred percent that you have to use throughout the entire night. You got to make it through the night with that this little percentage. Of Percentage of power. That's funny. If they put it in it, just keep your eyes on the monitors and and keep people out. So he's supposed to be like the voice that you hear in the beginning of like the, the game that that tells you essentially the what you essentially what your which your, which your role is as a security guard. Except he didn't tell him about the stuff that the fact that these come to life. Mike, the fact that it already has your name on it is kind of creepy. It literally has his name on it. <laughs> Securities, Friday security training. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I'd like to introduce you to the stars of the show. <laughs> oh. I know I was tripping when that, that glitch happened. Freddy was in the camera. His face. With that little glitch. I saw that. Like, I'm waiting to see, like, a head or something in that doorway. <laughs> it's, it's, it's creeping me out. I'm just waiting to see, like, a little animatronics like this, the staring. Uh. Hmm? Oh, what the hell? Who is this? Who are you? No, I don't like creepy children. I'm sorry. 
I do not like creepy, though. That is creepy. Oh. Actually happened to it actually happened to me one time when I was dreaming. I was dreaming, I was falling, and I actually fell on my boat bed. That was a way to wake up, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> By the way, I, I do intend on, on paying you eventually. Okay. And how are you there? The fact that she's still doing this, even though he hasn't paid her that she's she's a nice person because some people would be like, I know you're gonna pay me. But she's understanding of his, you know, his situation. Well that's no fun. You do realize that lunch is the most important thing. Hey, that's all the dude. Some people say um, that, but you know, just theory. Are you just a theory, yeah, that's because his line is just it's just a theory. A game theory. That's that dude. I don't know his name, but that's him. That's cool. He's in a movie. My sister went over every inch of that dump a thousand times. If there was something to find, she would have found it. Wow. I'll pay up. I'm sorry. You said 200. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. That you were going to find me hard proof of criminal endangerment. I just realized I shouldn't be hearing any of this. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I shouldn't be here at all. Sit down, Doug. Yeah, because as a lawyer, yeah, that's, he going to lose, he going to get, um, I would just kill him. Oh yeah, he's not supposed to hear that, cause he could be liable and could lose his um his license for that. Right. Hold on, look at these cameras. Oh no. Oh, they look like the fox one. I want to say something about these kids, but I'm not sure if I would be right or not. No, I, I think that answers my question about those kids. Because there was five children and they all was wearing certain colors that matched the animatronics. And then that kid just slashed him with a um a hook, which belong which I think the fox animatronic has a hook. Oh no! See the phone like the door open. Can I uh, help you, officer? Please, Vanessa. Wait, Vanessa. The new security guard. Yeah. Vanessa's from the um. You're bleeding, by the way. She's from the latest um, Five Nights at Freddy's. What? What in the fuck? What he was crashed out of the dream? I just about to think there's kids going missing. Mm. What did you just say? Prepare to have your mind blown. Oh man, we just not gonna skip over you to say kids missing and talk about my mind blown. Answer my question. <laughs> Get the guys to meet me here. I think I see a way in. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah, so did. What the f Yeah, uh-uh. It's buying them, ain't it? It's gonna be gone. Yup, it's gone. Oh, the cupcakes. Oh, it was a cupcake. Oh, nah, get out of there. Yeah, get get out. Yeah, 
Girl, do not go in there. Oh, they probably luring them out. Come on, Mr. Oh! Come on. Oh! That's the blue one. Yeah, you might want to pay attention. Ooh, they watching you. They like, we know you in there. Oh, not the cupcake. She saw her cupcake. Get out of there, stupid. You should have left. Like, there's an exit sign right there. Go out the exit door. Like, go out, go out the door. Oh, never mind. Oh, who this one is? Jesus Christ. Why did you go inside? Carl. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Oh my god, you Hey, wait. Come on. Mm -mm. Why are you still going toward it, ma'am? Please don't tell me she's going to do what I think she's going to do. You think I'm sticking my head in there? You stupid. You dumb. I still don't trust Vanessa. Wait, so tell me you have a daughter. Because of the Lord. Because uh, it wasn't your business. I don't know why, but I thought the animal tribe was going to clean up so it wouldn't look like anything happened. I guess I was wrong. Nope. Uh, ma'am, a, a little nudge, like, no, take it. Nope. That was not going to let him know you were going to be right back. No, ma'am. Damn kids. She did the I'm a nudge. I'll be right back. Ma'am, you, you don't even look like you was trying that hard to wake him up. I don't, I don't know how it's possible, it's possible that you're here. It's in my, it's in my dream, but I need your help. Please. Please. Help me remember the man that took, took my brother. Who shows you? What will you give us? Mm. Anything. Anything. I'll give you anything. I'll give you anything. Uh, never say anything. Okay, if I saw that, I'd be like, what the holy? You want to stop tickling me? Stop. 
thought I was gonna die. This is Bonnie. Bonnie. Foxy. Foxy. Chica. Chica. Foxy should have been easy. Foxy. Jesus. This is mine. This is a joke, right? I mean, there's someone here that's probably somebody controlling them, right? I mean, no, somebody controlling them, all right? Okay, good joke. So you ain't Google this um this place yet, Freddy Freddy Fazbear's? You ain't Google this yet? <gasps> oh, she was drawing them. Yep. Oh, I didn't even see the cupcake. Let's see what her connection is. Because she said she used to come there when she was small in the 80s. Yeah. But so did she also have a sibling? Um. <laughs> Ma'am, these are still robots. Those children are not. These are still robots. Okay. Cool. So we just chilling with the Freddy Faz, Freddy and the friend. Sounds like we need a roof. I'll go see what I can find. Paper cloths. We used to keep them back here for big events. Right. And remind me how you know that? I don't know. Ma'am, you're not answering my questions. So, I wouldn't do that. They're spring locks. They're on all the older models. They were designed to keep the animatronic parts in place so that a person could safely wear the suit. It'd be pretty unstable. Ooh. Like I said, unstable. What are you so afraid of? In the story, room, I saw your eyes, you were terrified. You can do whatever you want with your own life. But if you ever bring Abby back here again, I will shoot you. She, she, I hate when people do that. When you're asking them to tell us the full story, they don't want to tell you the damn story. What is this? This isn't what I asked for. Is this what you want? No. Just, I just want to find the name. You're lying. You want to save Garrett. That's why you're really here. Change what happened to go back. I can't. He's gone. They're all gone. Really? You little ghost you, children. You said we can have anything we wanted. We want Abby. Yeah, but I knew it. And ghost children ain't either. <laughs> you little ghost children, sweet Jesus. But they're angry at vengeful spirits, so it makes sense. I'm waiting for a jump scare. I know it's coming. Oh, Lord. I made a mistake. Please, I don't want this. Do you hear me? Sir, I think you need to wake up. Alone. That's Bonnie. That's Chica. That's the Foxy. Oh, it was Chica, Bonnie, Foxy. No, it was Freddy, so who's the other one? Sir, wake up. Thank you. Wake up, please. 
Oh, that's scary to God. Okay, clearly this exit does not work. Can we stop going to this exit, please? Yeah. Clearly the fox is the fastest one. <laughs> Cha -cha -cha -cha. <laughs> Yo, not Freddy in the house. I think he killed Auntie. I mean, she was annoying, but I don't think she deserved to okay. die. Okay, so he's the so he's in the Freddy. They're all waiting for you. Time to go play. Susie and Jane, she fell asleep. Ma'am, does that look like sleeping to you? Isn't And the fact that she's just like, let's go. Like, this child got no sense of danger awareness whatsoever. It's not just a ghost. It's, just... it's their bodies. It's their bodies. You have to understand that. Kids, they don't want to hurt anyone. It's it's him. He influences them somehow. I tried to warn you. No, you didn't, ma'am. How are you? It's too late now. He knows that you're looking for him. You being crypt cryptic being cryptic never works. This straight out saying to tell me. Yes. Is William Adam? He's my son. Oh, nope, there you go. That is so creepy. All right, Brady and Bonnie is down. Chica, I don't like this. <laughs> And I think those are supposed to be from the sister. Ooh, those are spring traps. Right? Leave her alone. <laughs> Trying to put in the spring. I think those are supposed to be from the sister location. I think they said the sister location so I had the spring trap. The uh I'm trying to remember the lore so much. <laughs> So they're evil spirits, honey. They're vengeful spirits. Girl, go under those pinball machines and dip. Oh my goodness. The thing is false. It's spring trap, is it? That's what it is. Oh, that is creepy. Oh no. Yeah. This is perfect. First I killed the brother. Now I killed you. Sit in my room. 
Mm. <laughs> I'm not kidding, God. I knew you were being creepy in the beginning for a reason. You may have forgotten your loyalties, but I assure you, you have not. No! I don't want you to focus. Oop, she gone. Draw what really happened. Jolly their memories. Oh, 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 it is a spring trap suit. Ah, so they are doing the spring trap thing. Ah. Mm. Mm. Oh, he gonna put it on the head. That was really. Oh, well, as for what I know, remember the Lord is gonna. Mm. Mm. No. No. We're not visiting nobody. No. No. You know what? You never know. Because he's he's he hasn't squished his head yet. That was pretty good for Five Nights at Freddy's. They definitely adapted lots of the lore pretty good. Um, Mike, because in the lore, Mike is actually Alfin's kid. He had two kids. He had a daughter. No, no. I'm going to forget already. He had a son. That died due to one of the spring traps because the brother was playing a prank. And then the brother is Mike that you're playing throughout the games and his job. And he's going to each of the Five Nights Freddy's locations to try to essentially stop all this from happening. So they gave the character name of Mike. As you know, it's like a nice little Easter egg. But Vanessa's character does come into the, one of the latest Five Nights Freddy games. And she's the... She, what was her character? She was a bunny type character. But she was um, uh, also a security person at night. So they made Vanessa the... the, the, the um, they made Vanessa the, um, the Watch McCalla. But this was overall really good. Adopted the lore pretty good. So, they, so I know there's going to be a sequel. So obviously from the lore uh, when William Afton is obviously trapped in the spring trap suit he's gonna eventually die and why well, his spirit is also gonna bond with that thing and he's still gonna be haunting the other um five dot freddy now with the games 
because I think one and two takes place at a Freddy Fazbender, then there's a sister location, and then there's the uh, one of the games takes place in actually a room. So I don't know if they're gonna how they're gonna do that, but what they might do, I don't know what they, I don't know how they're gonna do the sequel. So the first one is it's pretty much giving you know basic Freddy Fazbender with with the twist with the um the thing, and obviously Friday Night Freddy's is. Well, well, and we just saw William Afton, so so obviously his character's gonna have to come back, you know, spirit wise, because he's dead in that suit. So they might do a time skit where the body has, you know, you know, been in that suit for a minute. And I know they're gonna do it. Um, I forget how how they do the second film. I don't know. I don't know how to do the second book, but I over enjoyed it. I'm so glad I got the lore. I read the lore so I kind of could understand some of, you know, the nice little Easter eggs and stuff like that. But that little girl, she had no, no, no stranger danger radar going on. I'm like, ma'am, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. None. N like nothing was like stranger danger, stranger danger. None for her. N n nothing going off on that child. No, n nothing. Just nothing. There's nothing, but I did. But I, I was glad that some of my guesses was right. With the, with those ghost kids, I'm like, there's all these ghost kids, and they're giving the. Cause I was getting them with the with the colors that they had on. Cause each kid had on a certain color. Like the kid had on blue, which I'm like, that looks like the blue, you know, animatronic. Um, Bonnie. Another kid was orange, like the fox, and then you had the girl with the yellow on. So I'm like, okay, they're looking much like the, you know, animatronics and stuff like that. But I already knew that. I already had a feeling that the dude in the beginning, played by Matthew Litter, 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 Matthew, he was, you know, he was probably supposed to be William After's character because he was just too creepy about it. And like, he was very sort of excited when he was talking about Freddy Fazbear, right? Oh, also with the lore, I wonder if they're gonna bring in the the his part, the person who who um who also he partnered with, and uh, I'm just curious how they're gonna do more about then I also had the um the game theory guy in here too. That I thought it was pretty cool. It's a theory, a game theory, because I watched all this stuff. So that's pretty cool. They had him in there because when it comes to like the Freddy Fazbear lore and kind of compile it together for so people to understand. I mean, most people probably have watched his videos to understand the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's. So having him in there, like that little cameo thing, that was pretty cool. I think it was pretty cool. I think it was pretty cool. So, but overall, I enjoyed it. Like when it comes to video games adaptions, not that many have always done good, but Five Nights at Freddy's has definitely, is definitely a good one. Fallout was definitely a good, um, um, was a pretty good adaption. Super Mario Brothers was a was a good um, video game adaption. Well, we know it was live action, it was more anime, but it was a good adaption. And Last of Us, um, even though it didn't have that many infected in in season one, it was it was still a pretty good adaption. Like when we did get the infected and how it was portrayed, it was it was pretty good. And you know, it was pretty good. It, it was pretty good. So it was um, so yeah. In terms of um. Uh, Freddy Fazbender's uh, that would that would that Freddy's by Night Freddy that was definitely good. I'm definitely excited to see it. And for for being PG 13 too, it still had the horror element, and it was still like oh my god without being overly bloody. You know what I'm saying? I feel that's I feel like that's another thing where movies tend to fall flat when it comes to like the shock value is like oh there's that blood, let's add gore. Like you don't need all that. Like this was a PG thirteen movie. When she got out, out personally, I thought she was stupid. Like you hear voices. Why you think I'm gonna follow a voice of a child and try to stick my head into a, a, a animatronic? I'm not doing it. And that, that thing. Ooh, took her head off. Like see, it was her without being overly bloody. Like, like that was good. That was good. That was a good movie. I liked it. That I liked it. That. Like, if you don't know the lore um, of Five Nights at Freddy's, then, like, a lot of the hint stuff you obviously wouldn't get. And, like, the twist at, uh, like, the twist at the end where they show you the Steve is actually William Afton, that would be a, probably a big shock if you don't know the lore. But if you know the lore, you probably would have got, you would have probably got, like, okay, this is William Afton because he's, like, 
You know what I'm saying? Because he's giving the vibes. You know what I'm saying? He's giving the vibes. So overall, that was good. I love Five Nights Friday. So, time to subscribe on all social media. And I'll see you guys next time for another movie reaction. Bye!